time, everybody clap your hands. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I always start off with that because for some reason it's stuck in my head from the twins being in the same preschool as Silas is currently in right now. And that's like one of their first songs that they were that they always sing. So you're welcome for that if you get it stuck in your head. The rest of the song, I know you guys were wondering, <laughs> goes Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. And I don't know the rest. So you're also welcome for not knowing the rest of the songs. Okay, so today is going to be a great day. Why, you may ask? Because I'm gonna make it a great day. I'm actually leaving to go do like a few things that just really need to get done. We have a baby shower to go to tomorrow, but the baby shower is for a baby that was already born. So I guess, yeah, I guess it's still a baby shower. And then we have a birthday party coming up, we have a graduation coming up, and then we have another birthday coming up. So, and then also, it's past Mother's Day and my mom didn't get anything from me, I neither did my mother-in-law, only because we were in Disneyland on Mother's Day. So, I didn't wanna just like shove things in their faces and be like, here you go, happy Mother's Day, I love you, bye. So we're gonna do like our Wednesday dinner and celebrate my mother-in-law that day. So I gotta go get her something and my mom something. So you guys are going along with me, so let's go. On a total different note, Malachi has this thing that they're doing in school. Actually, Malachi and Jenna are in the same class, but they are doing this thing called Lego Robotics. If you guys watch our vlogs, you already know this, but a while back he actually went to the Lego store to spend money, all three of the boys did, and he bought this Lego truck whatever this is. These were all little pieces. I think it had like almost 800 pieces if I'm not mistaken. But he got all of this, put it together. And the neat thing is that he can control it with his iPad and Lego Robotics in his school has something to do with this. So he wanted to show his class that. And somewhere along the way, his mother got volunteered into taking it to school, which is no big deal. I don't mind, but he's really excited to share it with his classmates. So I'm gonna run that off to his school really quickly. It's just across the street. So he's gonna be sharing it after lunch today. I'm excited for him to be able to show that to his classmates. I did not get very far at all because I haven't told you guys, we have like a really, really, really good relationship with my neighbors and their daughter, Justine, who's in high school. She like adores us and we adore her and she was outside with her friend and of course I always have to stop and talk. I put on some stuff on my face. It was like a stick, uh, what was it? A stick highlight. I just feel like I just look oily. <sighs> we'll cover that up with my sunglasses and nobody will know. I'm really getting ready to leave now. I am. Watch me. Watch me leave. Get on my phone real quick. All right, here we go. The staff at the kids' school is so kind and so sweet, like literally all the time. I walked in there, you have to have a mask when you go in there, just like any other place. She's like, oh, thank you for wearing your mask. And I'm just like, wouldn't, wouldn't you always wear a mask when you go inside? But anyway, she didn't have to say that. She called their the twins teacher, Malachi's teacher, which is Jonah's teacher also, and said that there was something in here for them and they're gonna send a child up. Which might be Malachi and I kinda like low-key wanna wait for him to arrive, cause I don't know. For me, it'd just be so exciting to see your mom at school, but I don't know, maybe not so much for my son. Anyway, I am now gonna go to the mall, but really quickly what I was gonna say is that something that I learned like a long, long, long time ago, and I've just kind of like been practicing it. Anytime I talk to somebody on the phone or anytime I deliver something or take a message or somebody takes a message for me, what I do is I always get the name of the person because right now I just dropped off like my son's most recent generation iPad to the school with like his most prized toy that he has. And I was like, okay, thanks, see you later. And then like right before walking out, I was like, wait a minute, like should I just leave this here? Granted she works at a school, but like, I always practice what if like something happens to that person and they had to go home and nobody knows what happened to whatever you know so my rule for you guys is to just kindly ask not real suggestion is to just kindly ask and be like oh what's your name so that when something happens you can always follow up on it I just stopped at a yard sale by our house and they had because the boys the twins love puzzles and they had this puzzle for 50 cents and then a Scrabble game for 50 cents and also this like old school Monopoly board game for 50 cents. So I gave her $2 for all of it and I was like, yay. 
They're actually, it's a moving sale and this family is moving to New York. So jackpot for the twins. All right, I made it to the mall. I feel like I find the same parking spot every single time. I'm actually gonna go walk around and do what I do and then I'll show you guys all the stuff that I bought and just do a haul only because at that point I don't have to like walk around with the camera too, so. As somebody was approaching my car. I'm, I'm so paranoid when I go somewhere alone. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can like jab somebody with one of my keys if need be, but still just the thought of it always, always, always scares me. Okay. The way my camera feels is how I feel right now also. Holy, it's hot outside Batman. And for me to say that, that means a lot. Holy cow, holy cow. Turn the AC to super low in here. Because right now, it's at 72 degrees. We need it to go lower than that. Okay, promised you guys a little haul, so I will do a little haul for you guys. Ryan and I decided while I was at the mall that we are going to give my mother-in-law a gift card for massage, her nails, and also a Starbucks gift card. So like a pampering day to where she can just go and do her thing and just not have to worry about anything. That's the easiest way and the most thoughtful thing that we can do for her because she's really sore all the time because of her trach and then just her way. She's, she's actually a little bit over 80, so I think some relaxation for her would be great. And she actually really, really, really liked this place that Ryan had gifted me a massage place to for like Mother's Day several years back and the lady's schedule didn't work with me because I used to work Monday through Friday nine to six and that's when she used to work so I actually gifted my mother-in-law my massage without Ryan getting offended because I was like listen dude like these are gonna expire and I may as well give it to her because she's gonna get good use of it so long story short she accidentally found her favorite massage place via me so that's that. So my mother-in-law got nothing today from here. My mom, on the other hand, she is like, if you guys see her in my vlogs, you guys already know, she's like the sweetest. She's like the, the neighborhood old lady. Like everybody loves her. Her actual nickname for the neighborhood that we I grew up in, which is where she still lives, is Mima. So I got her this like, I guess you would call it a moo moo but it is so soft. I wish you guys can feel through the camera. It is so soft and to top it off, it has pockets. It has pocket, two sides of pockets, one and then a pocket on this side too. Besides all of those features, this also has buttons and she's like, just make sure if you guys ever buy me stuff, I don't want it to come button off on me. I don't want things to button off on me while I'm like walking around because she gardens in these, she sleeps in it. So this is so, so soft. I don't know if this is, this camera's doing it any justice or not, but it's like a like a really light, like a mint green teal with lavender on it. And that's actually her favorite color. So I got that and then I couldn't resist. Look how cute these are for Mr. Psy Guy. So I picked this up for him along with a shirt that will match and it says feeling good. So he actually walks around the house singing feeling good like I should. So I thought that this would look good on him and super cute. The fact that it kind of goes well, that's going to be such cute on him. And also I've noticed recently this color yellow, like a mustard color goes so, so, so well with all three of my kids skin tone, that and orange. So for the baby shower that we're going to, I gotta go back and I gotta get something else because I feel like this isn't enough because you really, really know the family. But I got this little outfit that says, it's a jungle out there. And then of course it has animals on it. But look at the bug, these are pants. And um, it has animals on there, you know, because it says it's a jungle. So this is one outfit for little man. And then, the baby's Indian, so I had to like put my little touch to it. So I got this little onesie. That's a tank top also. And it has little shorts to go with it too. And it has the shorts have the opposite color palm tree as the shirt on there. So you got him dead. Oh my god, I'm dying. I cannot wait to wrap this up. I'm gonna go to another store to see if I can find something else, like maybe a toy or something for the little man, just so I don't know, like an instrument or something that makes noise because who wants clothes for their birthday, you know? Maybe something he can play with in the future. And then y'all already know that I did not go to a mall and not buy myself something because that's, I don't go to the mall often. And when I do, especially if I'm by myself, I have to, have to, have to get something. I went to this random store and I 
if I'm not mistaken, they actually used to have the store upstairs and now it moved downstairs or maybe they still have it um, upstairs and now they have a downstairs one, but it's called Q Love. I know it's like the most random name for a store. I went and I bought this, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's just a shirt. It's so soft, but it has like, it scrunches on the bottom part of it right here. And not only that, but look at how cute this is. It just gets cuter and cuter. It's like got a little tie thing right here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I, it's like crisscrosses and then I can tie the bottom of it. And this is sage green and white. So I was feeling that. And on top of that, I've been actually looking for a blazer for a very, very, very long time. And I couldn't really find one that I absolutely loved. So today when I was just browsing around, I found this one. Actually has shoulder pads, which I'm like, mm, shoulder pads aren't really my thing but shoulder pads are coming back as of lately in my opinion so i'm like you know what i'll get this because i love wearing like a jean jacket or a blazer over my clothes like over my dress and stuff like that especially when i'm trying to go for more of the what do you call it when i'm trying to go more for like a business vibe you know especially when i'm going to church and different things like that so i got that and then now let's see it's 136 i spent a lot of time at the mall which is fine because i haven't really been to the mall and i kind of felt like i needed to get out of the house for a little bit so because when i go back home i gotta clean because we have people coming over but now i think i'm gonna go to maybe target i should look at my phone to see because i wrote notes to what i needed to do today so baby shower gift graduation gift mother's day for mom and Grammy and present for. Okay, I got, I gotta get two more birthday presents, but I don't necessarily have to get them today. But since I have an awkward amount of time left before I gotta get the twins from school, I figured I may as well go today. So I'm gonna turn up my music and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys have got the cutest little towel for little man. He's actually, it's a baby shower, but he's already born. I don't know. If like anybody else does things like that but look at this little giraffe oh my god i want to die it's so cute but it's like a it's a towel for him to be able to you know take a shower with and stuff or dry off after his bath i should say not a shower that was like not even making any sense but y'all catch my drift anyway it is now 2 36 and i'm already at the boys school i'm just waiting to like go through this drive up thing to grab them and then i'm gonna go home I have to figure out where to put their stuff because I went shopping and then I also went to my brother's house and I got a garbage bag of toys that was at his house. Um, we have a little bit of changes happening in our family so I needed to get all of Silas's toys that it's at, that's at my sister-in-law's house and bring it to my own house. I have so much stuff in my car that I don't even know where the twins are going to sit but luckily, 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 they don't, luckily we don't live too far away from the school so we're gonna figure it out I may have to like shuffle things around and on top of all of that I'm just also realizing that Malachi has his robot stuff that he's going to have to find a home for in here so wish me luck This wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be. Hi, I like your principal. He's so nice. He always waves, huh? Let's go home. And don't forget, you guys. Whose is this? You forgot your mask at school. I mean, you didn't take yours. No, well, it was too big. Which one? Like your camouflage one. This one. This oh one. yeah, that's not the right one for you. All right, take your I laptops. Oh, don't drop that. Okay, hold it well. You mean like this? Oh my gosh, Malachi! <laughs> You're crazy, Bubby. I told the twins that I got them something and they went in the house, but I have a feeling they're gonna come back. Like, why wouldn't they, right? And then also for my mom at the store that I was in, I got her some Nautica house slippers. These are really nice because she can actually, like, it has good quality here, so she can wear it outside, which she usually does anyway. All right, I was right. They're gonna come back outside. I got you guys a puzzle. Sorry, Doesn't hold it well, okay? No nope. Monopoly. I got you guys three things, and then Scrabble. You guys know how to play Scrabble? No. So you have this board. You can make your own letters and words with it, 
and each things are different points and then the letters are in here. You know, you guys don't know how to play but, um, that. So like the letter T is going to give you one point. Those, the letter A is going to give, you know, stuff like those that. Those are those ones at the one candy store, the candy making store. Yeah. So like if you spell the word Matt, M-A-T, uh -huh. how many points would you get? Three. No. Oh, Three, four, five. five. Okay. So Plus say. You just add up the number right. on the bottom. So you would start here, right? Say, I don't know how. Like, but you would start it here and, and say. And you have to go on the back again. Right. But say if you do this, M A T, like that. See right here, that's free space. But that's double letter score. So you would get two points instead of one. And this is triple letter score. So you would get three points instead of one. Can you just explain this slide? Yeah, we could. Can yeah. you play in front? You guess, yeah, I, mean, I don't mind. You don't want to come out. Um, I want to play with Okay. Okay. And Monopoly's just for like a family game. Yeah. Monopoly actually mummy used to play Monopoly with like a Tish Mama and stuff like that when I was little, so of course you did. Yeah. What is that? What? Boardwalk. Yeah, that's one of the spaces. This would be super fun. But run this up to the game area for right now. Can we play if do you, you want to do the puzzle journal? Can you take that in the house? That stuff? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in this car that I have to take out. Oh, I don't want to and it is pretty warm today. You know what? I gotta take this all out and also I don't like parking my car here because we have that gorgeous tree and this beautiful black 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 car and all the sap off the tree goes right onto the car and my beautiful car gets dirty super fast I just need a little bit of motivation just to be able to just oh okay ready set break didn't work all the stuff is in the car still <laughs> send help <laughs> you guys I have the worst habit ever especially when like when I'm on the go I just be like oh if I do this and do this and do this and I'll be done right and that's exactly what I did today come like 3 30 4 4 30 I'm starving so then what I do I just go to the store that I'm already at for whatever reason and I just get myself a chocolate and then I ruin my appetite and I just shove my body with all these calories bad habit I have got to stop doing this, but I've been doing this for years now. That's pretty ridiculous. We're home now, but Silas is not. He's at my mom's house until 5 o'clock, and it's 425 right now. So brought the twins home. We actually went to the dollar store. I needed some gift bags and some cards, occasion cards and stuff. So I got the cards and also the presents and stuff that I was showing you guys too. So now what I'm going to do is just wrap it up. I also, I didn't show you guys this, but I got my mom a gold fanny pack. I figured, because she's a very picky human, if she doesn't like it for whatever reason, I'll take it from her. I don't mind. And I bought the boys Linder chocolates. Just put it up there by the little container and I'll deal with it later. Because they love it and they deserve it. I don't know why there's a shoe here. My tennis shoes that I took to Disney is just sitting here. Oh, here's the other one. I thought it was just one for the longest time. I couldn't find like a good bag for Mother's Day because you know Mother's Day's past and stuff. So I got her this one that just says celebrate. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, let's go.